Baltimore Ravens don't take a second of any day off. They got us working over overtime, but it's all good. We still love y'all. So, team, keep it clean and break your news. The Baltimore Ravens are bringing back a very familiar face from around the way, too. Let's read the report from Adam Schefter. He said, more pass rush help on the way. Ravens are bringing back defensive end Yannick Ngakwe, who last played in Baltimore in 2020 per source. The 29-year-old Ngakwe, oh, I didn't know he was that, like, young. I thought it seemed like he'd been playing for a little minute. I didn't know he was 29. But anyway, he said the 29-year-old Ngakwe has 69 career NFL sacks. So he's very familiar with bringing down the quarterbacks. Now, when I saw this, I was, I was worried. I, I was scared. But then I thought, hold up, no, I ain't hear about nothing. We ain't hear about nothing. John Harbaugh had his press conference earlier today, and he ain't say nothing about anybody being injured. Because my first thoughts were like, oh, no, I, I hope David Ajabo is not hurt. But I'm like, no, he was fine after the game. Then my second thoughts were, no, I hope Adafi away. He ain't hurt. But the same thing, I'm like, no, he was fine after the game, too. Then I thought about Kyle Vanoy, like, same thing. He was straight. And I thought of Tavius Rout, no, he was fine, too. So what is going on? Like, what? Why? Why are they bringing in Yannick Ngagwe? But then Jeff Zrebit, he tweeted the following. He said, bit surprised by this. His first stint here didn't go all that well, but Ravens still need pass rushing help. So that was pretty simple, but that it made it click for me when I saw that he wrote that. Because it reminded me that this year for Baltimore Ravens with their defense, first quarter, the pass rush, amazing. Second quarter, pass rush. Oh, they be killing it. Third quarter, pass rush. They still be doing their thing. Fourth quarter, pass rush. Oh, Eesh. yikes. And something that we've talked about. You know, we talked about it in the post-game thoughts video from earlier today. Uh, we'll talk about it in future videos. But with the Baltimore Ravens and their pass rush, really their defense as a whole, it really seems like in the second half and late in games that – Teams are adjusting to Baltimore Ravens defense, but Baltimore Ravens defense is not adjusting to teams. And with the pass rush, I don't know if these guys, they just be going crazy for them first two, three quarters. So the energy is just drunk by the fourth quarter is drained. They're done. They're like, oh, we can't rush the pass no more. We tired, coach. We tired. But them bringing back Yannick Ngakwe, this gives them that much more flexibility this gives baltimore ravens pass rush and their defense as a whole that much more flexibility now where will he be at how will he fit on the active roster well let's read the report on that jess Rebick said the ravens are signing yannick ngakwe veteran outside linebacker yannick ngakwe to their practice squad per source that gives him the opportunity to get reacquainted with the defense and ramp up so that is even that makes this news even better because it ain't like he just jumping straight to the active roster. All right, Yannick Ngakwe, you on our 53-man roster. Let's go. No, they letting him go to the practice squad. He could chill there for a little bit, like learn the defense and whatnot. Like Jeff said, get reacquainted with the defense. That allows him to do that. So he comes in. It's like, hey, we ain't asking you to be the Yannick Ngakwe of old. If you want to, that's fine. But we ain't putting all that pressure on you from jump to go out there and kill it, even though I'm sure you want to and you feel like you can. But start on the practice squad. Work your way up. We'll, we'll do some game call-ups and whatnot for you. But start there, and then we'll go from there. Let's see how this thing works out. So it's really a win-win situation for the Baltimore Ravens. It's very, very low, minimal risk for the Ravens with this move, especially since he's on a practice squad. Them signing him uh, after week three, his contract is not guaranteed. So worst-case scenario, hopefully we don't even got to worry about this. But worst case scenario, if for any reason this does not work out, they can cut their losses, go their separate ways. That's it. Simple as that. They can cut their losses and go their separate ways if it doesn't work out for whatever reason. But we don't want to go down that road. We want it to work out. So we want the Baltimore Ravens, when that time comes, to start using their call-ups on Yannick Ngakwe. And then we want when the time comes after they use their three call ups on Yannick Ngakwe and they got to make a decision whether they put him on an active roster or they release him and sign him back to the practice squad. We want him to go to the active roster because that would mean that he was doing that good and the Baltimore Ravens did not want to risk him staying on a practice squad in order for another team to sign him off of the practice squad. Because, see, 
If a player's on a practice squad, a lot of fans might think, oh, that player's not good enough to be on somebody's active roster. Oh, that player was a free agent for so long. No, don't nobody want him. Oh, that, that, that player ain't nothing. Oh, nobody's going to take him from us on a practice squad. But all it takes is one injury to over here, and that player will be poached just like that. Look at Tyler Huntley. Tyler Huntley was on the Browns' active roster well before a cut-down day. Tyler, Brown, Tyler Huntley was on the Browns, and then they cut him. Baltimore Ravens signed him to the practice squad, and we're like, oh, yeah, okay, we got our backup, backup quarterback back in our building. Let's go. Because, again, he was the backup backup because, again, it's Lamar Jackson then Josh Johnson, and then on the practice squad is Tyler Huntley and Devin Leary. So we were chilling like, oh, yeah, Tyler Huntley straight, okay, we good. Tua for the Miami Dolphins, he got hurt. Dolphins said, hmm, let's look around. Oh, Tyler Huntley, get him off the Ravens practice squad now. Boom. And they took him. Now he's on the active roster. So all it takes is one chance and one opportunity. Now let's go back. Why didn't it work out here the first time for Yannick Ngakwe with the Baltimore Ravens? Because you know the Baltimore Ravens, they really like them some Yannick Ngakwe. Because when he was on the Jacksonville Jaguars, he was over with the Jaguars just killing it, destroying everything, getting a million sacks every season. He was doing his thing. But he fell out of favor with the Jacksonville Jaguars, and they certainly uh, fell out of favor with him as well. And that relationship, it, it got ugly. And Nick Ngakwe was doing all the, the, the sub tweets and whatnot. Y'all know how it goes when them players from Maryland, the players from Maryland, when, when they get upset with a team, oh, they get the t Twitter and they get the tweet and everything. Because you remember Stephon Diggs with the Vikings? Yeah, y'all remember. But anyway, Nick Ngakwe, he got to doing that with the Jacksonville Jaguars and he's basically like letting it be known, I don't want to be here no more. Y'all ain't paying me. I don't want to be here no more. Get me out of here. Jaguars waited, he waited, they went back and forth, back and forth, and finally the Jacksonville Jaguars, well, the Ravens were interested in him back then, but they didn't get him. But the Jacksonville Jaguars was like, all right, off to Minnesota you go. So he went to the Vikings, purple, wrong purple team, but he did go to the Vikings, and he started off there, it was solid, it was nothing crazy though. But then I guess the Vikings are like, huh, well, this ain't really working out too much. Then the Ravens were like, oh, it's not working out there? Okay, let's go, come here. So the Baltimore Ravens, they traded for Yannick Ngakwe in 2020, they got him. So I, I remember being hype. I remember being like, oh, yeah, let's go. He got Yannick Ngakwe. Been wanting him for years. That's a pass rusher right there. Let's go. Our pass rush been struggling. But we got Yannick Ngakwe now. Problems getting ready to be solved, at least on his side of the field. But it wasn't. Why? Because of the defense. The type of defense that the Baltimore Ravens ran at that time. At that time, the defense was under Wink Martindale. Defensive coordinator Don Wink Martindale. It was under him. And Ravens, when it came to pressure, oh, Ravens could get some pressure, but for some reason, for some strange reason, they just could not close when it came to sacks. And we know that sacks are not everything, but sacks are huge because they, whoa, wait a minute, they didn't sound good. But anyway, they are a big part of the defense because that ends the play. And even better case scenario, or yeah, it could end up causing a forced fumble. If a sack doesn't end the play, then it's going to be a lot of bad stuff that's happening on that play. Because if a sack is not the last thing that happens on the play, then that means the quarterback dropped the ball. So it could be even more chaos. But anyway, um, he was with the Baltimore Ravens, and it just was not working out. But he spoke on it. He spoke on it years ago, and he said, hey, when because Donald Martindale, he would have the pass rushes on a rotation. So you have some pass rushes in, then rotate them out for these other pass rushes and keep them fresh. But Yannick Ngakwe spoke on that, and he talked about how that rotation, it was just messing the flow up. And when you have a rotation, you got to keep coming off and on the field. That messes your game up and doesn't allow you to really get into the flow of things. It doesn't allow you to really get to understand what the offensive lineman is doing, what his weaknesses are, what his strengths are, how you can counter this, that, and the third. So it would just mess things up. So he was frustrated with that. I believe he spoke on that after he had already, after they didn't renew his contract. So it didn't work out before. But something that we've talked about on here um, over the past couple of years that Mike McDonald's system for pass rushers is very pass rusher friendly, very pass rusher productive. The Baltimore Ravens with a triple crown uh, defense last year, uh, and part of that was sex. They got a lot of them, a whole lot of them. They got production. Jadavian Clowney, uh, Kyle Vannoy, Adafi Away helped out with that too. Then even they got some sex from the, the cornerbacks as well. But as a pass, and look at Justin Matabike. He did his thing. And now with Justin Matabika, I know, I know a big question with him. How does he follow up last year? He has been amazing this year. 
Then you got Travis Jones doing his thing. Adolph fell way off to such a hot start. Calvin Oy still killing it. So Ravens pass rush has still been good, but it's only been good for about three quarters out of the game in that fourth quarter. For whatever reason, that's where they've been struggling at. So you brought in a unique in Gakwe. You know what to do. Somebody who's been here before, but now things are different. Now, even this system, even though it's not Mike McDonald's system, this system is still a very pass rush, pass rush friendly system. So with Yannick Ngakwe, he comes in and he's like, whoa, this this the same Ravens that I was with, like a couple back like, twenty twenty. These not the same. They are in some ways, but in the ways that are most important to him, Yannick Ngakwe, they're different. This is a brand new team. This is a brand new defense. This is a brand new pass rush unit that's actually getting production now. So with Yannick Ngakwe, him coming into the Baltimore Ravens, this should be a, a much better experience for him. Team Keep It Clean, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, turn your notifications on, and leave a like on the video so you do not miss a single update, a single thing happening with our Baltimore Ravens. We out.